November isn't even half over, and it's already been a stellar month of releases from Diamond Select Toys. One of them, their Wolverine Gallery statue, came out last week, and it's a beauty. Let's take a closer look. I haven't read all that many X-Men comics, but Logan's small stature is something you don't have to go far to discover. And so while this statue is just about as tall as most of my other Diamond Galleries, nearly half of its height comes from the rock Logan's crouching on. But here, as on the page, he looks no less threatening, or flipping sweet, for it. The sculpt is just perfect, and depending on how you want to interpret the pose, Wolverine's either just put the claws into someone, is getting ready to do it, or both. Probably both. The paint looks great from across the room, and most of it looks great close up, but the paint application on the mask, especially where the two colors meet on the nose, is pretty sloppy. I can't imagine what the profit margin is on a $45 statue that looks this good, so I generally have an open mind about this stuff, but it's still a little disappointing. The uneven line where the black wings meet the mask isn't all that bad, but the nose area is messy enough so as to be a bit distracting when I'm right up on the statue. All of that to say, if you're in the market for this one, you might consider buying in person so you can see how the paint turned out on yours before you buy it. Overall, this is another winner, and another recommend. I wish the paint was a bit more cleanly applied on the face of mine, but given the general quality of these gallery pieces, maybe I just got unlucky. Regardless, it looks great, and I'm generally smiling whenever I look up and see it perched atop my shelf. You can get yours now at comic shops and elsewhere, but be warned, this one's going fast. If you want yours, or you're considering it for a gift, the time is now.